Hey, welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons and let's get started, guys. Before we get started, please take the time to subscribe, then click on the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Hey guys, this is Cooking with Ranger Rob. Today should be kind of a short video. I'm making, for the first time, pickled eggs. So, I'm not going to go into the boiling of eggs too much, but I'm going to boil mine um, with the water hot. Put in. I'm just doing 10 eggs, and I'm going to cook them for 13, 12 to 13 minutes. Then I'm going to put them in an ice, ice, <laughs> an ice bath, <laughs> and uh, they uh, that should help them um, make them a little easier to uh, peel. And some of the ingredients we're going to use today is uh, some garlic that came out of my garden. I'm going to be using crushed red pepper, uh, garlic powder, uh, a little bit of pickling spice, um, some jalapenos out of my garden, and I'm going to use, uh, I want to use some whole black pepper a little bit, and then also some granulated one, so uh, right here. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm using kosher salt. Then, the biggest ingredients I'm going to put into this is turmeric. So, uh, anyway, it's kind of a, a recipe I thought was intriguing. Two, I've never made pickled eggs before. And we can't even taste test them after we're done, but once we uh, get them jarred, I'm going to use uh, quart-sized jars. And uh, I think I can get 10 eggs close to 10 eggs in one jar but we'll see but I am sterilizing two jars right now and I'm not sealing I'm not doing a I'm not canning them I'm just uh, going to refrigerate them and I, I can't test them again till a week or actually 14 days they say so uh, hopefully I can remember to record that and add that to this video so anyway here we go so here I'm boiling 10 eggs so the other thing we're going to need to make is a brine. So what I did is I took two cups, two cups of apple cider vinegar and one cup of water and a half a cup of, uh, I was going to use kosher sugar, but I heard I could use sea salt instead. So I decided to use sea salt, a half a cup. I'm putting that into a pan right here and all I want to do is, uh, get it warmed up. You could take it to a boil, but we're just trying to dissolve everything. And that will be poured over the eggs um, in a little bit. Well, it's been 13 minutes. My eggs are done. I put them in the uh, uh, ice bath. Uh, supposed to make them peel easier. And now I'm just working on my brine to dissolve everything in here. And next thing I got to do is peel a lot of eggs. Amazingly enough, peeling my eggs are actually uh, pretty easy. I had no trouble whatsoever peeling any of them. And here we go, 10 eggs. First off, we're adding fresh garlic from my garden, yum. Now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of turmeric. Adding a half a teaspoon of red pepper. Now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of pickling seasoning, just a, just a smidgen. And a half a teaspoon of granulated pepper. Now I'm cutting up a fresh jalapeno pepper from my garden. I'm using about half of it and putting it into the jar. Okay, now I got my uh, seasonings in here. Uh, it should be tasty. I'm going to put a little bit of my brine at the bottom, then add my eggs. Here I'm adding about two ladles of my brine uh, before I put my eggs in. This should prevent air pockets. Time to add my eggs. So I put them in gently, and uh, then I found out that I probably could have cooked 11 eggs, but 10 is fine. As long as I get the brine covered over the eggs, uh, I'll be happy with that. So now I'm just adding the rest of my brine. I'm taking it very high to the top because I'm not uh, canning these. I'm just going to refrigerate them. So I took the brine right to the top. Now 
I'm just adding my sanitized lids on the top, putting it on snug, not torquing it, just snug. And glamour shot time. <laughs> Doesn't that look pretty? Turmeric makes it look really cool. So there you have it. We'll have uh, those eggs after I, the jar cools down. Put them in the fridge for a week or two, and then we'll test them and see how they taste. Hi guys. So it's been a couple of weeks now since we made our our eggs right here, and uh, so today we're gonna pull an egg and we're gonna test it. You excited? I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> So we have no idea how good these will come out. So uh, hopefully I can get one out of the jar in, an, in a good way. And we're going to just cut it up and take a look at the texture and the color and then taste it. So here we go. Well, you can see all the leaves in it. Smells like... What's <laughs> Smells like vinegar a little bit. Smells like eggs a little bit. Smells like egg in there. Alright, so we're going to attempt to get one of these out of here. Okay, so here's our egg. <laughs> what do you notice about the texture of it? It feels kind of hard. It's not soft like a... Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's, let's cut this baby up. That's nice, yeah. Should we just try a whole piece like this? Okay. Wow. It's a little pickly. Yeah. Tastes a little bit of the turmeric. You taste it. All right, my turn, guys. Very vinegary. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very vinegary. Wow. Well, if you're a person that likes vinegar, wow. I think it almost needs more garlic. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. I think it's an acquired taste. But to me, it's kind of vinegary. Could use a little more garlic, maybe. Mm -hmm. But we also put um, jalapenos in it. That one tastes almost salty. It's not bad, bad. No. I think it's just one of those kind of acquired taste a little bit. It's not bad though. It's kind of snackish. Yeah. You wouldn't want to eat a lot of them, but um, I'm going to try one more bite. It just grows on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try one more bite. Got a little piece there. Kind of see the yellow kind of from the turmeric got inside. And you can taste the vinegar through the whole thing. Stop. See, I like that a little better with smaller bites. Otherwise, it's way over, over in the vinegar. It's not bad, though. If you guys really like vinegar kind of taste things, no, like pickles pickly. and stuff. It's um, it's actually kind of like one of those crazy snacks. Like once you have one, it's like 
take a couple bites and it's like, yeah, it's not too bad. I know. So, all right, there you go, guys. I got a little bit left. You want one more little piece? Um, it's not one of those things that's like I think you can make all these different flavors now that I've made one I kind of like because um, I know people will make hot ones you can make them real spicy I think I'd like it a little hotter and a yeah. little more and a little more garlic yeah so yeah, more garlic is what we would use and probably either more jalapenos or add more red, red pepper. pepper to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little segment to this ending here. Uh, after we finish doing this thing, we're thinking these would really be good mix for something. So we thought maybe we'd try it with some crackers because um, cause the, they're kind of potent as far as vinegar and stuff. We just think it tastes pretty good with something added to it. Yeah, get the, the, the salty, sweet. Yeah. Salty, so sour let's, let's try it. Alright, so I'm going to try this with a Ritz cracker. Let's see how it tastes. What is it? Looks a little thirsty. Actually, it really tones it down. That's not bad. You know what really tastes good with it? Some smoked salmon. So <laughs> <laughs> sad. She's gonna give it a try. Now. Definitely tones it down. Yeah. Um, and definitely need a beer with it. <laughs> yeah. So, the other thing is, yeah, if you're drinking beer, that would really be good with it. <laughs> and pretzels. Okay. Pretzels. And we're eating some pretzels with it too. So, beer, pretzels, crackers, um, definitely uh, works. It, it seems like it's, it blends better with stuff. I mean, it's fine by itself. It's just, it is very potent. So, there you go, guys. Our very first uh, pickled eggs. Uh, they're not that bad. <laughs> they're pretty good. So, try it, guys. Just grab a jar, try different recipes, find out what you like, tweak it, and uh, there you go. So, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.